Hey kids, happy day. Welcome to yet another episode of Stupid Battle Tricks with your host, Pink Jimmy Photon. Today I'm singing this bizarre BC Ritz thing that my buddy Dennis sent me. Um, and we're going to play through a venerable box. There's a little funny story about it. Um, and I'll try and make sure I put links for this the schematic and the layout and what we worked up to make this thing work. Um, on the uh, comments of this after I upload it. Um, Anyways, I'm surfing around eBay the other day looking for broken stuff to get to fix. You know, I like doing that. It gives me something to do. It keeps me out of trouble. It's hard to do that sometimes. And I came across a uh, Heathkit uh, HA28 Fuzz. It's actually on eBay right now. Last I checked, the bid was up to $56. And the guy was not only kind enough to post cool pictures of the, you know, the pedal itself, but he also posted gut shots fuzzy goodness and in the warm cockles of my black cold little heart um, but he also posted the schematic and well me being the way I am I decided hmm, do I bid on this pedal or do I just build one so I decided to build one and uh, put the results on uh, doityourselfspawnboxes.com uh, other people have built it too. It's a neat little device. It ran on a single uh, AA battery. And, uh, of course, we needed to change that so that you could run it on like a standard 9 volt kind of wall board, you know. So, uh, that's what we did. You can hear Bella the Wonder Dog ninja-ing in the background. Um, a bee must have farted in China. Um, anyways. <laughs> anyways, um... So what we did, what I did with the help of some of the guys from the forum was, uh, and Steve Daniels from Small Bear Electronics, who I highly recommend for parts if you need them. He has stuff you can't get other places that are always reasonable. He's a great businessman, great guy to deal with. Steve, if you're looking out there, man, peace to you, brother. Respect. Uh, he's also keeping it so that guys like us can keep making all the noise we want without uh, fear of loss of semiconductors. Anyways, we uh, set it up so that instead of running on a one and a half volt battery, you can run it on a nine volt battery or a nine volt wall, wall board. And all it really took was uh, three one n four zero zero one uh, diodes to ground, a hundred microfarad filter cap. I think it was a IN forty seven thirty nine uh, Zener diode. And like a 10k resistor <laughs> I got nine volts to run the, uh, the little light on it and I got one at 1.7 volts almost to run the pedal so it runs a little bit hot sounds a little bit brighter on a wart but right now I'm not going to bother hooking a wart up what you're going to hear here is here's just the uh, this is a BC Ritz Warlock kind of thing I'm going to turn the amp up a little bit what that is is uh, check out runoffgroove.com. That's a runoff groove Ruby amp going through a small speaker that I gutted out of something else. It's actually not a bad little amp. I'm making it distort though, I don't want that. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. bypass switch in it so it's true bypass right now and this thing here see if I can get it up where you can see it unplug the sucker this is the Heathkit fuzz that I built you got fuzz gotta have fuzz and you have tone it uses a unusual tone stack too which is kind of neat um, we found that if you replace there's a a pair of 1k resistors on the end of the tone stack and if you turn those to 10k the tone stack gets well the whole pedal will get louder and the tone stack will function better also uh, there's a 10k resistor just before the capacitor that feeds the tone stack and if you change that I would recommend like probably a 5k trim pot you could put a pot in if you wanted to but you can uh, adjust the volume on that that's a, a tip from uh, Lucifer strip on do it yourself snot box but anyways, uh, fuzz and tone. I'm going to turn the fuzz off and plug the thing back in. Okay. 
There's a guitar. I'm gonna turn it on. It's got a little bit of fuzz to it right off the bat. I'm gonna turn the tone control about halfway up. And I'm gonna just keep turning the fuzz. Up. That's cranked. I don't have it set up to run on a one and a half battery anymore. anymore. Uh, I had a choice between nine volt and one and a half. I'm going to go for the nine volt because it's just more convenient for me. But the circuit is still running at the same voltage as what it originally expected to see, which is the key importance, you know, where this is concerned. But anyways, great little fuzz. The Heathkit TA, TA82, I don't know, something like that. I got to look it up. It's behind me. I'm lazy. But uh, get a chance, you know, if you want to build one. This is kind of what they sound like. The tone fuzz is off. That's off. It's pretty much Unity game with the fuzz off. Because 
it's, it's more of a booster. Kind of a booster overdrive. But you can make it sound sweet. But it's always distorted. So next time you're in the mood for one of those, like nasty like hey I can't play guitar at all because I'm uh, you know I know three chords kind of 70s guys um, fire one up man anyways uh, Heath Kit Fuzz Booster BC Rich Warlock and uh, Pink Jimmy Photon thanks for watching this episode of Still Bit Battle Tricks as always work for peace and uh, if you like these stupid videos of mine buy a bum a cup of coffee somewhere later Stop buttons here. Peace.